Hey guys, um, this is not going to be a very well received video. I understand that. Um, it's going to be fairly negative sounding. I don't really mean it to sound negative, but um, I'm going to come out with it anyways. Guys, every time, and I have this is something that I have to remind myself. That's why I'm saying it like this. And yeah, there's a little bit of frustration involved with this, and I understand that. Guys, it can always get worse. It can be a thousand dollars, and then it's two thousand dollars, and then it's ten thousand dollars, and then it's your whole, then it's your home, then it's your life savings. I'm not saying I've lost my life savings; I haven't. Um, it's a second mortgage on your house, and then you're bankrupt. So every time that you do not move, let me let me say this: every time that you widen that stop and you do not allow your stop to be hit. Every time that you get frustrated and you make that stop wider, remember it can always get worse. There is no limit to how much worse it can get. Uh, you will It will bankrupt you. I mean, ultimately, you will lose everything that you have. So every time that you are not preserving capital, no matter how many losses you've taken, the process remains the same. Trade goes in profit. Your stop goes to break even or near break even, and then you trail it down. There is no exception to that. You, as the trade, like let's say you put on a trade and it goes immediately into drawdown, a lot of them will, and then as it comes back in your favor, you cut, you're starting to cut that stop loss from initial risk, and you do not move that bitch. Do you hear me? You do not move it. You go from big loss to small loss to break even stop to trailing profit stop that's it guys um, it can always get worse I promise you ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars everything you have bankruptcy it can always get worse so you gotta take 50 losses in a row take them I mean it is what it is guys um, so I, I hate to sound so negative. Um, I am a little bit frustrated, but it all comes back to me. Whenever I do poorly, it all comes back to me. My price analysis is usually pretty good, but my risk management, my capital preservation has been uh, pretty, pretty terrible. Um, guys, let's say that you're trying to trade a funded account like I am. I had to reset this. Um, let's say that you start with 150k, and then you take a $150 loss, $500 loss, and you're down at $500 drawdown. You, the rules stay stay the same. You cut risk as you take drawdown. You take on fewer contracts. Your your initial stop placement as the market moves back in your favor, you put that stop break even. As the market moves further in your favor, you trail the stop down slowly. You don't have to rush the stop down. And then you allow yourself to be stopped out every single freaking time, period. That's it, guys. It doesn't matter how much drawdown you're in. It doesn't matter what it is. Guys, it can always get worse. First, first, it's, first it's your... This is how it goes, guys. Let me just tell you. First, you lose your winnings. Then you go into drawdown. Then it's then you're going through your savings, and then it's debt, and then it's a mortgage on your home, and then it's a second mortgage on your home, and then it's bankruptcy. So I'm not saying I've gone to bankruptcy, guys. I haven't. I'm just for illustrative effect. I'm telling you, it can always get worse. Always, it can always get worse. So do not ever think that it's going to stop because it cares about you. It doesn't. It's artificial intelligence. It doesn't care about you at all. It can always get worse. Always. You must preserve capital. Period. And you must allow yourself to be stopped out. And I don't care how many of you... If I'm putting up a live stream recording and y'all think, Hey, you know what, Reese? You... You know, why are you letting yourself be stopped out and the trade ends up going in your favor? I don't give a fuck. All right? I'm not trying to show, be prideful or whatever. 
capital preservation comes first. It doesn't matter if you're live streaming. It doesn't matter if you have a big ego. you got a big audience. It can always get worse, guys. First, it's losses of your winnings, and then it's drawdown, and then it's debt, and then it's a mortgage on your home, and then finally it's bankruptcy. It can always get worse. So preserve your capital no matter what. The process is always the same. No matter how many losses you've taken, no matter what your financial situation is, no matter how many contracts you can afford to put on, it's capital preservation number one. And yes, it can get worse. So you let your stops get hit. You trail your stop down to break even. You trail it further in profit. And then you let it get hit and you do not move it. You can always re-enter the market instantly. Okay? All right, guys. I'm, I know that this has been a little bit of a negative video, but, but yes, these markets can make you poor. Okay? They can put you in bankruptcy pretty easily. So, yes, it can always get worse. Uh, that being said, guys, I'll be back with more positive stuff later. Um, I had to get this off my chest. Goodbye.